Hi guys, I'm Gaga Sita. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video it's gonna be a one palette, three looks using the new mood palette. I already done a video swatching and doing a really uh, easy, busy, easy breezy kind of look using the shadow palette here. But I, I, it kind of get on my nerves when. I see a YouTuber trying a product and then she never does another video and I was like, you know, maybe since it's a really messy color story I was like, maybe someone needs some kind of inspiration to really play with the eyeshadows and yeah, but I hope you liked the video and if you did so let me know down below which look was your favorite and Keep on watching! <laughs> okay, so let's start my first... As always, my first step is the primer. So let's prime our eyelid. This one here is the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumors number 2. And I'm gonna just blend with the brush. Now I'm gonna grab my L04 and... I'm gonna grab the black eyeshadow here, which is the shade both and I'm gonna place this color in my outer V and in my inner corner trying to give a little bit of a shape to my eye to my eyes. Now I'm gonna grab the color energetic with the refer brush number 16 and I'm gonna put this green shade over the black trying to create like a deep dark a deep dark green and in the same time blending this black away. Now I'm gonna come back with the brush that I used to place the, uh, the black and I'm gonna start to blend the black into the green with just was left into the brush. Now I'm gonna grab my Zoeva 2 to 1 which is a stain, she's not dirty, she's just stain. I'm gonna use the shade Optimistic and place it in the mirror where, uh, in the mirror of my crease. Now I'm gonna grab my Sigma E56 and I gonna I gonna place the color euphoric this one here just in the middle where the two green and make the two greens here meet each other. I gonna place this color a little bit over the green as well, going almost to where the black is. In this way, it's gonna be more uh, blended. The look it's gonna look blended even more. Now I'm gonna come back with the shade energetic and I'm gonna place it a little bit in the outer part of the look and with the shade optimistic I'm gonna blend a little bit more into the crease. Now I'm gonna re-grab the, the same brush that I used with the black and I'm gonna grab again a little bit of the black just in the tip of my brush take all the excess off and then I'm gonna place this black color really close to my lower lash line almost in my waterline, not there yet I'm gonna elongate the outer part here and then I'm gonna come back and connect this the outer part to the lash line the upper lash line here just to elongate a little bit more of the eye. Now I'm gonna grab my uh, pencil brush. This one is from Zoeva. It's just a pencil brush. You probably own a lot of this one here. And I'm gonna grab this brown here, which is curious. And I'm gonna uh, blend the black underneath my eye with this color. Now with the same brush, I'm gonna grab this color here, this green, this chartreuse shade here, creative, and I'm gonna place the shade creative in my lower lash line here in the inner corner. Now I'm gonna put some mascara and I'm gonna be right back to show you the final look. I'm wearing the Big Girl Bank. This one is the it's a small size one, but it's so nice, and I will probably buy the larger size because I felt in love with this mascara so fast. And on my lash, on my waterline, I was thinking of using this extremely fluo color just to give a little bit more of a pop because I could go 
darker, but no, I'm gonna go poppy. So I'm gonna use this gel liner here. This one is from e.l.f. It's from the game collection. I don't know the name of this one here because mine do not have any name behind, but it's this uh, chartreuse limey green, extremely fluo. And I'm gonna place this one here on my waterline. I'm gonna use this Sigma liner brush. Always close your uh, gel liner between one eye and the other because this kind of liners are amazing if you have a watery eyes, but they try to, they try and tend to dry faster, so you really need to mm, close them. I don't know, but I like this look even with just mascara, but let's put some lashes and I'm gonna come right back to show you the final result. Okay, so this is the final look with lashes. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of those exaggerated lashes. They may be a siren double, something like that. I, I am not sure because I only have this pink jean here, so I do not remember the name of the lashes, but you know, it's not a really unique kind of lashes. You probably can find something similar in your collection. I hope you liked the video and if, if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so let's start the look as always with primer. Today I decided to use this one here from Urban Decay. This one is the primer potion. I like this eyeshadow primer a lot, a lot, a lot. So today I'm gonna share with you how I love to do my blues look, the way that I feel it's more uh, wearable, it's less, you know, dramatic, it's a little bit more of a everyday kind of blue eye look. Okay, so first of all, I will start with the uh, Chris color. I'm gonna start with the shade Blessed because I love the name of the color. No, I love the color and the name of the color. And I'm gonna use this Raffer brush. This one is the number 16. And I'm gonna place this color on my crease. Usually, when it comes to Beauty Bay, it's it's best to start with a deeper shade and since the, the primer I don't care if the, the blue mix a little bit with this brown uh, this brown shade I don't care I will start with this one here usually the mats from Beauty Bay don't stick on dry bases so you have to be extremely extremely careful when you place your color just don't place too much color then you won't be able to uh, to do more you know this color here it's a neutral brown it's so closer to my skin tone i like it a lot now i'm gonna grab my pencil brush this one is the sigma e30 it's like your classic pencil brush and i will use this extremely deep dark blue here which is the color content i'm gonna place this color in my outer v i like this color let me see i am not adding any color i am just working with what's left on my brush just dipped the brush once so wow now I'm gonna clean the brush because i i kind of want to use the same brush so i'm gonna clean this spongy thing imagine here and I want to use this color here because this color here it's a stunning so I do love this kind of blues and yeah I'm gonna use this one here and now I'm gonna place it really close to where I place the the deeper blue just in the edges just tapping the color without moving too much now I'm gonna come back clean again the brush. I always do this on my daily basis. I, I use the same brush to do this to do this back and forth. I know I'm crazy. And I can add a little bit more of this navy here just to try to blend these two colors together. I'm gonna grab this synthetic packing brush and the shade is inspired. This one here. 
and place it all over my lid. I will just leave the first third here in my inner corner with any eyeshadows. This brush is completely dry. The way this eyeshadow show it's offensive. I'm gonna use this color almost so close to my crease, creating a cut crease without having to cut my crease. Now I'm gonna come back with my rougher brush in the shade Blast and I'm gonna place a little bit more of this color on my crease. So we can have everything nice and blended. And since this color is so close to my skin tone, it will almost do nothing. It, so it's gonna be just enough. And now I'm gonna grab my pencil brush, I'm gonna clean it again and I'm gonna do the edges of this blue here and take it with just what's on my eye really close to my lower lash line so I'm gonna blend from where the color is so powerful a little bit here so it's gonna have just uh, the, the, the blended blue and now I can finally come back with the same pencil brush just I will just dip the tip of my brush in the eyeshadow tap to take the excess off because I'm gonna do the lower lash line and you know here when there is fallout here it gets crazy just in the outer part of my lower lash line I will not play, put nothing here in the start of my eye just here in the third outer part of my lower lash line really close to my waterline but don't there yet I will grab this brush here this one is the brush that came in the dose of color palette and I am gonna use the color focused this color here in my inner corner I will put some eyeshadow here in the sock of my I, in this way I can kind of have a little bit more I don't know, I feel that when you put a shadow here your eye looks a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna put this color here from the inner corner and show it to my crease meeting the color blast on my crease and now with the other side of the brush I'm gonna grab the same color and put it in the middle of my lower lash line and I will go from the middle to the outer part meeting the blue shade and this way they can blend it together and now I'm gonna grab a pencil synthetic brush and I'm gonna grab the white color with the pink reflect which is the color free and place it in my inner corner a little bit over the, uh, the this blurple this periwinkle shade now I'm gonna re grab the brush that I used on my crease with the color Bless, which is the same color that I used on my crease and I'm gonna place this color really close to the uh, to the blues here just you know to bring the look a little bit together just a little bit don't go too much don't go lower okay, so for my waterline should I go this color which is really similar to the one that I placed on my inner corner or should I go in a completely different direction and try this blue gel liner here let's try this one here elf there is no name in the back I'm sorry but you know the one from with from the game collection oh it's so soft it's my first time trying this one here Always close your general liners even between one eye and the other eye so in this way they will not dry out. If your eyes are extremely watery, try a gel eyeliner in your uh, waterline. I feel that on me it lasts way much longer even than the best uh, um, eyeliner. So I'm gonna put the mascara, lashes, do something to my hair and I'm gonna be right back. I wanna show you the look with just a mascara so yeah this is the look with just mascara it's a nice look with just mascara but I still wanna put some lashy lashes so stay there <laughs> okay so this is the final result and yeah with lashes I'm wearing the house of lashes siren double they are dramatic 
Do we like it? I'm in love with it. Stay tuned to watch the next look. Okay, so let's start the next look. I'm gonna start by using my P. Louise eyeshadow base. This one is in the number 02. I kinda don't know what I'm gonna do, but I kinda wanna use this color here. This is the shade uh, Passionate and I'm gonna use this color with my refer 14 Just here on my outer lid and from there we're gonna see what, I'm go what we're gonna do Now I'm gonna grab the, C the Zuiva 227 and I'm gonna use the color Tender here And I'm gonna use this color to blend the pink shade into my crease I will Put the brush here really close to the pink and then go into the direction of the pink and then come back and add a little bit more here I feel that in this way the look just go uh, just blended itself really fast with my Zoeva 222 I'm gonna grab my this color here which is into intimate and I'm gonna use this color all over my lid but I'm gonna use it wet because it uh, it isn't one of those patting shimmer from Beauty Bay it's more of a classic shimmer so now I'm gonna add a little bit more of the color passionate with the same brush that I used sooner and I'm gonna uh, tap a little bit more of this color in the outer V of my eye now just to clean my inner corner and to say that I used almost all the colors from the palette I'm gonna grab the color Grateful and place this color uh, to my inner corner like that it will make some difference, it probably won't but yeah, it's so similar to my skin that it doesn't make too much of a difference. But to clean uh, the crease, if, if you have gone too high with your shimmer, or maybe just to help blend a little bit into your skin tone, this kind of color could be helpful. But if you don't have this color here and you are trying to recreate and, and you are trying to recreate the same look with another palette, just use your face powder, it will make probably the same not probably, it will make the same just to add a little bit more of a oomph in the eye I'm gonna use my trusty finger and I'm gonna use the color free and with my finger I'm gonna place it just in the middle of the eye now just to don't waste the sheen on into my finger I'm gonna add a little bit here in the center of my nose I'm gonna do liner, lashes, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I added mascara, liner, I decided to do some stars thingy genie going on here just to make the look a little bit more, you know? And I'm gonna use this highlighter brush and here we go as highlighter on my cheek. Is it the perfect cheek color? No, it isn't, of course it doesn't. But it's nice, it's just to be a little bit more playful and since I, I had no highlighter in this portion of the video, I was like, why not? I don't know why on camera my hair looks crazier than in real life, don't get me wrong, my hair never looks fine, but it doesn't look that crazy either. Please camera, don't do this to me. I'm gonna put some lashes and I'm gonna be right back. This is the final result with the lashes. I'm wearing my House of Lashes uh -uh, Siren Flare, which I love so, so much. I love those lashes. And on my lips, I decided to change lips and now I'm wearing this Maybelline Liquid Lip. This one is in the shade Unrevealed. I don't actually know. Unrevealed should be. And yes, I hope you liked this video. It was... I know this look is not like the most creative look, but I still want to try to use all the colors in the palette and I am so glad I did so. And what about the new mood palette? I have to be honest with you, I use this palette kind of a lot right now and I did the first impression look with this palette here, then I created the street look that you just saw and this palette came with me in Spain and I had so much fun 
because even though the, the color story seems a little bit messy, a little bit all over the place, when you break down the color story, you can obtain really cohesive looks and it's actually really, really easy to uh, use. I didn't find any mm, patchy shade. I know there are many people who say that Beauty Babe dark shades are kind of patchy. I don't know if, if uh, it's the way you work with, but I don't have any problem with patchiness because when I shadow, when an eyeshadow look patchy, I will just build a little bit more and then it, it isn't patchy anymore. And I feel that they have changed the formula of the mask are easier to build. And even though I still will recommend you to start with a deeper shade and then go lighter, I say I will say if you start if you blend two or maybe three mattes starting from the light to the dark darkest you will not have problem. So obviously if you will pack, if you pack like five matte shadows, the the your your lid will be so dry and the eyeshadow will not stick on it. It's just the 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 the, the way the eyeshadow is done, but. It's really to work with and honestly in my case I, I do prefer to start with the deeper shades so I can see how much the color, the, the eye look it's gonna be defined on me. And if you have tan skin or deeper, if you are like me or deeper, I will recommend you to always start with deeper shades so you can see how much you can you can go deeper because sometimes looks on us look a little bit more washed out, a little bit ashy. So if you start with the darkest shade, it won't probably help happen with you. So I hope this video was helpful. So if you like this kind of video, please give your thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you're all about the beauty world, and see you soon. Bye bye.